Her name is Debbie Weiser. She's a UCLA PhD student. Also works for the USGS, US, uh, what does that stand for? US Geological Survey, yep. which is great. And let's see, she's going to be graduating in 2013 with her PhD and is a student right now in the PhD program and already got her bachelor's in geology in 2008. Magnificent. Everybody's been talking about it for a long time now, for years, maybe, I don't know, decades, that there's going to be a huge earthquake that's going to erupt in California. The big one. The big one. What's going to happen? Are we going to have an earthquake in California soon? Or, you know, uh, should we be worrying about it? Well, I think that, that worrying isn't necessarily the right way to phrase it. I would, I would definitely phrase it as preparing. We should definitely prepare for what is an inevitable thing. A very likely scenario for a large earthquake in Southern California is a big San Andreas earthquake. It's the longest fault we have in Southern California, and therefore, theoretically, is one of the or one of the faults that could produce the largest earthquake in Southern California. So, theoretically, what would be the largest earthquake Southern California could have, you think? Um, modeling has shown about an 8.3. Um, well, that's still pretty significant. It may not be a... A 9.0, but I mean, an 8.3, that's... Right, and one of the big differences between these earthquakes that we keep hearing about, like what they had in Japan and what they had in Chile, is that our fault is on land. Those faults are all offshore, and the, the subduction zone dives under the land. Our fault, however, the San Andreas, is, is on the land, and so it, there would be a physical offset of... 18 to 20 feet in some places and no road that I know can bend and flex to accommodate 18 to 20 feet of displacement. That's not going to happen. And so we have all of these things that uh, would be a much bigger problem because we have an on-land fault as opposed to other places that have offshore faults. But then one of the benefits of having an on-land fault is you have much less risk for tsunami like they do in Japan and Chile. So for our audience out there who probably are, uh, I mean, you've said it, you've used a lot of educational terms, very uh, sophisticated terms in geology that maybe uh, some people could have could have got lost. But in the easiest terms possible, what would you say the odds are of an 8.3 earthquake in Southern California? When would this probably happen and uh, how would we prepare for it? Your guess is as good as mine <laughs> on when it would happen. Um, there's no, anyone who tells you they can predict a time, a place, and a magnitude for an earthquake is kidding you. They're, they're lying through their teeth, most likely. We don't have that technology yet. It's not available. So there's no mathematical calculations we can do with the knowledge we have in geology, seismology, to figure out when there could be a potential big California, Southern California earthquake. So you can't predict, but you can do something called forecasting. And so there's an estimate that there's a 99 point, I believe, 7% chance, so 99.7% chance that there will be a Northridge earthquake size, magnitude 6.7 or greater, in the next 30 years somewhere in California. So we had this huge devastating Wow, earthquake. wow, wow. I, I'm sorry. I have to stop you there. Yes. That was a crazy statistic you just said. I mean, yeah. I had to take a gasp of air. 99% chance that there's going to be a 6.7 earthquake or higher, bigger than Northridge yeah. earthquake yeah. in Southern California. That's the current forecast. Correct. So any time within 2011 and 2031. Yep. I think the, the numbers were put out in 2008, I think. So... Yeah. Oh my. Th well, that's very scary. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so knowing this, it's it's not a question of if this earthquake will happen. You can say over and over again, well, you know, there's going to be an earthquake. Somebody's going to get hit by an earthquake in some place somewhere. And blah, blah, blah. We know that this will happen in Southern California. It's simple. Anyone who understands how silly putty works, you know, you can you can move it, move it really slowly, but eventually it's going to break. And that's what happens with the Earth, okay? So we, we have these two massive tectonic plates, and they are moving. The whole plate is moving, but they're stuck. And that, that fault, the San Andreas Fault, is where they're stuck at. And eventually, over time, when they're trying to move, it's going to break. And that's when you're going to have a big earthquake. And that happens with all of the other faults in Southern California, too. And so it's not just one potential source that we have. There are over 150 active faults that are worrisome in Southern California. For more videos and interviews from LA Exposed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Also like us on Facebook and or follow us on Twitter.